Hello, now in today's video I've got a quick back update and a small life update and some changes that are coming to the channel. So get a cup of tea, sit back and roll titles. So today I have come back from an appointment with my specialist with regards to my back. It's almost been like three months since I've had my surgery and it's just a sort of final check. Now on the whole, it was all quite positive, although there's something that did upset me a little bit um, about my progress. But basically everything has been really good since I've had the operation. I'm moving a lot more normally now. Not more normally? Yeah, that'll do. Um, you know, I'm able to pick up the dog, I'm able to go for a walk, feel like a normal human being again. Um, the only thing is I've found out is that if I sit in the same position for a bit too long, or if I'm lying on the sofa and I'm not completely flat, when I get up, I do get quite a pain in the right side of my back. Now, the problems were on my left side of my back, so I spoke to the consultant about this today and he said it's perfectly normal. Um, you do still sometimes get pain and he said it's normally on the side where you've had the surgery, but he said it can be on the other side because your body's sort of been compensating for so long. But he said you will expect aches and pains for up to 12 months after surgery. So it's all perfectly normal and it should fade and get better in time. But I'm definitely improving I'm so as I said I started being able to pick up the dog a bit more and give him cuddles and smooshes and um, I'm noticing that's getting easier sort of with each day that passes when I first did it it was like lifting a massive weight he is a bit of a chonky boy aren't we all <laughs> but yeah I'm sort of getting used to it now now I wanted to speak to him as well about going to the gym because before I had all this trouble with my back, I was actually getting back to going to the gym and quite enjoying it. And then obviously, you know, spinal injuries and gyms don't really mix. And, and I asked him about that and he said, it's absolutely fine to join up to the gym and take on some light exercises. He said, obviously don't try lifting massive weights or putting too much strain on yourself. But he said, it's absolutely fine to sort of build up slowly and do some cardio stuff and get back into the swing of things. So I'm really excited about that because thankfully with the health insurance, you also get half price gym membership. So I can go to the gym not that far away from me for half the normal price. So that's good. Now the bit of bad news, which yeah, it upset me a little bit. Um, obviously I've been feeling sort of relatively normal and everything like that. And I wanted to broach the question about going on rides and roller coasters because obviously when you go and look at rides and their safety warnings a lot of them say don't go on this if you've got back issues and stuff like that and for sort of bigger scarier roller coasters that's kind of understandable so I sort of said how's my future looking for going on big roller coasters and he said ideally you've got to wait at least six months post-surgery and even then take it relatively easy. I'm glad I haven't purchased a Merlin pass just yet. So that's slightly disappointing. I was hoping that, you know, I'd be banging down the gates of the theme parks as soon as they open this year, but it does seem I've got to just take it that little bit easier, which is disappointing, but ultimately I will do anything possible to not be in the position that I was last year. So it's a bit of an annoyance, but it's hopefully just a short term annoyance because he did say realistically, what happened to me could reoccur. There's a five to 10% chance of it happening again. So he said, anything you can do to sort of stop that from being encouraged is a bonus. So I'm going to listen to him and do as I'm told and not push it too much. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to going back to the gym. It's something that I really used to enjoy doing. It just used to get me out of the house for a bit because obviously I work at home and I don't have much interaction with other humans outside of, well, this house really. So it's nice sort of to 
get out and do something different. So I'm really excited about that. Now, I've got a bit of sad news for you uh, with regards to the Kip Hates merch, and that's Puddle, who've been my merch partner. They're actually closing their doors in February, which I'm genuinely devastated about because they have been absolutely amazing. Because a lot of merch places, essentially, you're just uploading your designs to some server and then some machine is printing it all out and posting it off to someone. But with Puddle, it's genuine human beings. It's their little company, it's their baby. And, you know, they worked on design ideas for me. They made the merch and everyone who's got merch from them have said to me how happy they are with the quality. But ultimately, it's their sort of side hustle and doing all of that takes a lot of time and they're just struggling to fit everything in with their proper day jobs. So I am genuinely sad that I'll be losing Puddle at the end of February. I mean, probably not as sad as they are because they, it's their company. So yeah, I, I really want to thank Rachel and Dean for all their hard work and everything they've done. So going forwards, there will be merch and I'm just trying to find a new provider. I don't think I'll find someone quite like Puddle are and I don't really have the time or money to invest in printing it all myself and doing stuff like that. So I might have to look at one of those big companies again, which is a bit annoying because I don't really want to do that. Um, but we'll see. So please, 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 before they shut their doors at the end of February, if you can, go to merch.kitpakes.tv and buy a bit of merch and send them off on their way with a few extra quid in their pocket. And remember, anything that you buy from there, a percentage of the money goes to charity. So even though they're, you know, they're showing up shop, they're still giving the money to charity, which is very kind of them. And also, some of it comes to me. So that's, that's helpful. Um, yeah, so I'm quite pleased that life's getting back to normal now. I am very gutted that I can't consider rides just yet, but ultimately, I like being able to walk. And um, I'm very excited for our trip to New York in March which I reckon there'll probably be a few vlogs about. I'm not gonna go too crazy, but I think I'll do some vlogs from New York as well. So yeah, that's a really quick life update from me. Thank you so much for everyone who asked how my back is and how I'm doing. That's so kind of you, I really do appreciate it. But hopefully now, I'm kind of, people don't have to worry about that as much now, which is good. I honestly wanted to give my consultant a massive hug today because I did say to him, you have literally changed my life because he has. So yeah, it's all good. Um, I've got a really stupid Fix It Friday coming up this week, so please make sure you get you hit the reminder to watch that when that's up on there. It'll be out 6 p.m. on Friday. <laughs> I make a bit of a mistake. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's very good. I'm, I'm pleased with that video and how it's turned out. So yeah, keep an eye out for that and just stick around. Thank you so much for watching everything. Thank you so much for liking. Thank you so much for commenting. All that stuff really does help the channel grow. Um, yeah, I don't have anything else to say, so thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, but for now, it's game over.